I've always had a passion for learning what people are going through. And we reaffirm these rights by higher law. So that's a common thread between my public health education and my human rights education at the graduate level. I was attracted to the human rights practice program because I wanted to learn from new people. I wanted to kind of get outside of the bubble. I think our, our model is several steps outside the box of how online education is done. I mean, we are, as far as we know, absolutely unique in the way we incorporate video conference, guest lectures, real world projects into our classes. So our students and our faculty learn from people who are working on the ground, the, the real experts in human rights. I think that the Zoom video conferences are really unique and special part of this program. Jesse, do you want to ask a question? Have you ever experienced like writer's block? I feel like I write every day just as a form of habit. What made it even more special was that our professor had a connection with them and did an amazing job of preparing us for the conversation. In my um, human rights across context, I study citizen-led movements that are pro-democracy, peaceful pro-democracy organizations um, led by citizens. Kawala is the leader of the Cameroon People's Party. She's also a, a business a person who is the CEO of a company called Strategies. Has been recognized by the World Bank as one of the most influential people in Africa in this domain. We have placed a priority on Stand Up for Cameroon um, in this moment. My students are blown away. Are there other countries that are doing similar work? They did not, first of all, expect to be talking to leaders. How do you teach overcoming fear? And they also weren't expecting to have such articulate, passionate people who are literally on the front lines of human rights struggles in Africa. Our biggest enemy is fear. It's not the regime. I act as producer for the four show season, leading the student design teams, keeping it all on track. You can be a good person and successful. While I'm doing that full-time job, I'm also a student in the human rights graduate program at the University of Arizona. In the summer I took a class, it was so interesting to be able to put similar ideas of decolonization as I understood it in the United States in reference to the colonization of Africa learning from these activists who were trying to get democracy in place was uh, such an eye-opening experience. Fred Boma just joined us. We got to see the video of him speaking to the U.S. Congress. Mr. Boma, uh, we, we welcome your comments. Violent repression of demonstrators calling for, time li for timely free and fair elections have escalated as Kabila willing to show contempt of our constitutionally mandated term limit has become increasingly obvious. I have personally experienced uh, this repression and when I spent over 17 months in jail. How, how do you maintain this value of integrity in what you've just been talking about, this idea of constructive peace? Mon étudiant posé la question, je ne sais pas si vous avez suivi. Oui, 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 je suivi. So many times throughout that class, I connected what they were hoping for and what they were dreaming for and fighting for with things happening in our own country. Refugees are welcome here. I've noticed that my students respond to these Zoom chats as human rights practitioners with the emphasis that we have on practice. I had a group of students who were able to get solar panels put on a schoolhouse in a remote rural area of northern Ghana. It's incredible that I have this opportunity to dialogue with these leaders. But I think more exciting to me is the kind of change that can be made in the world. I think we're going to get more and more exciting and, and really how, do we, how can we use the online environment uh, in really positive ways to advance human rights around the globe.